Now, we'll seed roles and admin data to database using service method. So, create folder named services. Inside it, create the class named seed service. Inside it, create a static method named seed database and require I service provider class as parameter. Inside it, create a variable named scope and initialize it with service provider dot create scope method. Then create context variable and initialize it with scope dot service provider dot get required service method and pass app db context to it. Then create role manager variable and initialize it with get required service method again and pass role manager and pass identity role to role manager. Then create user manager variable and initialize it with get required service method again and pass user manager and then pass users to it. And finally create logger variable and initialize it with get required service method and pass i logger and then pass service to it. Then create try catch block. Inside try block, print log message using logger.log information. Then use context.database.ensure created async method. This method will check whether database and tables are created or not. If either of these things is missing, then it will create that using entity framework core. Next, I'll seed roles. Then use add role async method and pass role manager and role name as argument to it. Add role async method does not exist right now, but we'll create it in a moment. Then use add role async method again and pass second role name. You can create as many roles as you need using this method. Next, I'll seed admin data. Create admin email variable and pass admin email in string format. Then use if statement to check if any user with this email does not exist in database. Inside it, create admin user variable and initialize it with users class object. Inside it, initialize full name username normalized username email normalized email, also set confirmed email to true and new GUID in string format to security stamp. Here I passed email to both username and email because by default, Identity Framework uses username for login. However, I want to use email for login so I passed email to username and created separate full name property to store user's name. Then create result variable and initialize it with user manager dot create async method and pass admin user variable and password to this method. Then use if statement to check if result succeeded. Inside it will assign admin role to this user. For that, use user manager dot add to role async method and pass admin user variable and role name in string format to it. In else block, log errors. Also log errors in catch block. Now, create private add role async method and require role manager and role name as parameters. Inside it, Use if statement and check if role exists using role exists async method. Also negate this statement. Inside it, create result variable and initialize it with role manager dot create async method and pass it new identity role and pass role name to it. Then use if statement and check if result succeeded and negate this statement. Inside it, throw new exception. Now, open program file. Below build method, call this seed database method from seed service and pass app.services as an argument. I'm not using scoped method or singleton method to call the service because I want to call the service only once after application starts. Our data will be added to database once application starts. With this, seed service class is complete. 